Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to do data cleaning using Python Pandas. We have a data set about e-commerce and we have features like brand, product, category, size and features like that about shopping. I'm going to go step by step. We are going to start by uploading our raw data and we are going to continue with cleaning it and we are going to finish with exporting the clean version of the data set. I took this data set from Kaggle and I'm going to leave its link in the description of this video. You can download the data set and join to me in the coding part. Let's start coding. So here is our data card. We are going to use this data set for data cleaning. I'm going to give this link in the description of this video. And we have a data about the e-commerce. It says we have 30,000 products. Let's read about that. This data set is a collection of 30,000 women fashion products. Categories covered in this data set is Western wear, Indian wear, perfumes and fragrances, watches and nightwear. You can use this data set to apply your data cleaning, visualization and analytical skills. Okay, we have information about columns in here, but I don't care about that. We are going to explore this data set when we get to the VS Code, our code editor, and we have a data columns like this. And you can just press the download button in here for getting the data set. Don't forget to get the link from the description of this video and I'm going to re-record in my code editor right now. So here I am at VS Code and we can see that I'm just going to open Explorer. We have the fashion dataset.csv in here and I want to tell you that you can use any code editor that you want that I prefer VS Code. I use VS Code every time but you can also use Google Colab, Spider ID or PyCharm. It's up on you, okay? I'm going to start by creating a Jupyter Notebook. I will use a Jupyter Notebook because I want to go cell by cell. So I'm going to create something like notebook.ipmb. Also, you can see that my CSV file is in the same destination with notebook.ipmb. So I'm going to directly load it in this way. If it's somewhere else in your computer, you need to write like the exact path to the file. But in here, I don't need it. So. I just create this Jupyter Notebook, then I will select the kernel in here, Python 3.11.4 and as the starting point I will import the pandas as pd, then I'm, I want to show you the version that I'm using the pandas of, like pandas version, I'm using 203. If these codes are not working at your computer, the ones that I'm going to write in this video, you can just do pip install pandas accused the 2.0.3 for getting the same pandas that I use and the codes will work smoothly. So I'm just going to delete this and start to the data cleaning. At the first step we are going to start by loading our data. We are going to do that by pandas read csv and we will give the data set name in here. So I will copy this and paste it in here and I'm going to make it run. As you can see it's loaded successfully. But I'm going to say data equals to this and we are going to have this in data. We can quickly check it by using data.head. Let me close this warning and we can see our first five rows in the data set. Also, you can specify this number like you can say three for seeing the first three rows and you can use that tail for seeing the last three rows or even 30 rows. You can do like this. And I'm just going to turn back to head with default settings, which is five. We have an index column in here with integers, totally unnecessary. We have brand name, details, sizes, MRP, sale price. It's maximum retail price, by the way, discount and category. Okay. So we have the data types, integer, string, 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 integer, string, string. So also I just recognized that this data set column name is wrong so we are just going to change that too and we can directly start let's get started by adding some steps that we are going to use in this video so like I'm just going to call the steps that I took here it is so we will do deleting redundant columns renaming the columns dropping duplicates removing the NA values and check for some more transformations but before them Let's start with exploring our data, like I will call data.info for getting general information about the data. And we can see our range index is 30,758. 
we have this data types we have the memo usage data also i want to give you a small tip like you can see the non null count in here like if all the values in here are same it means that 50 percent 70 percent 90 percent it changes with the situation but it means that maybe you don't have any enabled roles in your data set because if you see different numbers in here it generally means that you have any values like 100 percent okay after data.info and getting a general information about our data set let's get to something like data.shape which is going to give us the column and row count so we have 30,758 rows with eight columns in our data set so we can just reach the column names by data.columns like this and great after exploring our data we can directly start to our data cleaning operations so the first one is deleting redundant columns so this one is unnecessary so i'm just going to delete that one i'm going to do data and we will use the comment drop and i will say columns and this is going to be equal to the unnamed zero like this and i'm going to make it run you can see we have a new data frame with no index column like i'm going to call the original and you will see that we have an index column in here but in this one we don't have but as you see we didn't modify the original data frame so we still have the index column there's two ways that we can modify the original one we can use in place accused the true so it will modify the original data frame and we are not going to have index column from now on or you can just set like data accused to this so you are going to get the new data frame i'm going to go with in place accused to true and after doing that i'm just going to call the original data and we will not have this call as you can see great so let's copy the steps again and move to the second one so we are going to continue with the renaming the columns so i'm going to call the data that columns in here and we can see that we have an error in here like it needs to be details and let's set this up only because others seems great so we can do data that rename and i'm going to set the columns we are going to give a dictionary inside like the one that we need to change at the first place like da tails and it's going to be details from now so we write the true name and i'm going to make it run again we have a new data frame and i will use in place accused to true so in this way when we call the data again or even data.columns like this you are going to see the difference we have the details in here instead of the details great so this is done too i'm just going to copy that again and we have the dropping duplicates at next step so i will call data.duplicated and you will see we are going to get booleans as a response and when i it's a panda series by the way you can just do value counts like this for getting the true and false count this true 2827 means that you have this amount of duplicated rows which means all the entries inside are the same so it's a panda series again you can just use that value counts that plot you can set kind bar and you are just going to make that run and you will get a bar plot like this true false you can even add labels to this like just import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then you can do plt title like duplicate rows you can do plt something like x label duplicate or not you can use plt y label amount of rows and you can use plt that show so with this you are going to have a plot like it says plt is not defined so just make it run and you can see that duplicate rows amount of rows falls through duplicate or not also you can create something like pi in this way it will both work but if you are going to create a pi pie chart like this you need to remove the y label and x label like this i'm just going to make it run again and you can see duplicate rows false and true but if you create a pipe chart like this you are going to have an unnecessary y label in here so you are just going to create plt.y label 
and you can say an empty string so this count will disappear also you can just set like plt.legend and it's going to give the legends like this false true great so again you can create stuff like bar plot since this returns a panda series like let, let them call this since this returns a panda series you can easily manipulate that like you can just say tail 50 and check if the last 50 rows are duplicated or not and etc but the best way is you can say best for me i'm going to say sum and you will get the duplicated count so i want to remove them i'm going to do data drop duplicates and i'm going to set the in place accused to true so in this way when i call the data again we won't have the duplicates and i'm just going to call duplicated that sum again and you are going to see it was 2827 and now since we used in place true it's zero great we dropped the duplicates but we have a problem in here i'm going to call the data and you will see that now we have 27,000 rows but index is still 30,000 so how we can fix that we are going to do data that reset index so when we do that it creates a new index set and it resets the, the index before so we did that but we have an unnecessary index column in here since let me do the tail in here the new data frame and you will see that like this column index is totally unnecessary so what i'm going to do is in here i will say drop and i'm going to set the columns as index so i'm going to make it run again so we will have a brand new data set with the index we want and we drop the unnecessary index column so i'm going to just save it to data and we are going to have a brand new data frame with drop duplicates and we set it index great so i'm just going to take my steps back from the clipboard and we can continue to doing our data analysis like this so the next one is removing the na values from the data set so i'm going to say data that is na and it's going to return me booleans like if they are na or not cell wise like this but if i use that sum it's going to give me the counts column wise like it's zero for all of them great so what we can do in here is if you have na values like you see a value in here you can just use data that drop na like this and you can set in place that use the true for getting rid of them and you won't have when you call that again you won't have any any values but we in any way we don't have in our data set so we can just continue with the next step so it says check for some more transformations okay let's do that i'm going to call the data and what we can do in here is let's say let's say we want to capitalize make the first letter of the brand name columns entries capital letter so how we can do that is i'm just going to take the brand name as panda series at the first place and then i'm going to say that apply lambda and i will say x x dot upper like this actually not upper capitalize like this and when i make it run you can see that we have the capital letters in here so i'm going to call the original data we don't have like in the brand name column we don't have the first letter capital in here but in new series we have so we are just going to set like data brand name and we are going to assign it so when i call the data again we are going to see that all the entries in the brand name column have a first letter uppercase like only with o capitalized frantini with f capitalized okay so let's continue let's say we want to do the same for the details side so we can just copy the exactly same and we can change details and we can do details that apply and i'm going to make it run and i'm going to make it run again you can see it worked for the this one too and what we can do else let's check for some more transformations like we can say in here we can just use so there is a problem we see na values but they are entered as n a n so which means that 
they are enabled, but it didn't appear since the data set we have written to them like with strings. Like let's get this and check. So we are going to get to the sizes column, data sizes, and we are going to get the index in here. Let's say, let's get this. And no, this one. I'm going to get this. And you can see that it's N A N, but with a problem. I'm going to check its type. It's going to be string. So I'm going to make it run. It's a string. So how we can treat them? I'm going to call the data again. And we can go like, we can go by data sizes. And I'm going to say that replace N A N this values with, let's say, what we can do N A values. And we can do that. And we will see NA values are going to be in here. We can go column wise. Like I'm going to set this to data sizes. And I'm going to make it run. And I'm going to make the data call again. And we see NA value in here. So in here, what I can do is I can drop every value, which is NA value in here. So how, we, how I can do that? I'm just going to show you the way. You can, let's say you want to delete every value in sizes if they have any value you can do data you can filter it you can say data you are going to say sizes if sizes accus to na value the value that we just created you are not going to take you, you are not going to take that so you are just going to do this and when you make it run you are going to see that you are not going to have anything with na value like this so i'm just going to call the data again and I'm going to make it run. So we have 27,000 columns in here, but with this filtering operation, we can see that we have 22,000 rows. So we filtered it out like 5,000. You can do this for all columns, like do the same operation, like you can filter it. Or what you can do is you can say, you can just create a multiple filtering with adding parentheses to this and say and and or or this is an option or you can treat every column separately which i suggest like in here in the cell price if you have na values you can use like mean imputation you can use median for filling the na value rows in here you can take the like most occurring ones or you can just drop them it's up to you but like let me do another example like i'm going to set this to data so we are going to have the new data frame we have and i'm going to call the data again like it's completely up to you let's say i want to change this na values with zero percent like i will say data discount is going to be data discount replace nan with no discount and I'm going to make it run and when I call the data again you will see that we are going to have no discount in here like you can do different operations for all the columns so I'm going to call the data again and I'm going to call our steps again all of our steps are completed like we do it transformations like we use capital letters we just change to NA values like no discount etc but we need to do one more thing before finishing this video so since we dropped the NA values in the size we have 22,000 rows but the index continues to 26,000 so again we need to do data reset index and when we do that we will have the index column in here we will say drop and we will specify the columns index so now our data is cleaned with before making it run i will show you with the index numbers we want so i'm just going to make it run so our video is completed but i also want to show you that you can export this data like data to excel and you need to specify cleaned data.excel like this and you need to give the index parameter false if you don't want indexes by default it's true it's up to you and for saving it as a csv file you can say data to csv and you can say cleaned csv 
index.csv and let's say index equals to false this time. So the both files are going to be in the same destination like you can see clean CSV and clean data. And let's check if they are cleaned. So just let's make sure together. I will say pandas read CSV or let's read the Excel file. They are both same. I'm reading the Excel file because we saved it without the index false. So we will have the index. I will say cleaned data dot xlsx so in here we are going to have the data frame with unnamed zero index column and we have brand name with the capital letter l as you can see so our data set is saved successfully if i get get to the ending part we will see that we have 22,000 rows and i'm just going to read the csv file too since we saved it without the index clean csv.csv so in here we don't have the index column we have seven columns, we have 22,000 rows with the index numbers we wanted, with the modifications that we did, and go wait. So that was all for the video. If you come to here, I will be really happy if you can leave a like to this video and you can add the comments in the comment section, I will be reading them. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I have a playlist named Data Science Projects where I have more than 20 data science projects with their datasets on that playlist. You can just reach to it from the cards of this video or the link in the description. See you in the next tutorial. Have a great day.